Hello guys. Well, in my last uh, video when I worked on uh, BMW X5, I used the uh, SI, uh, SIA um, uh, 2000 from uh, Snap-on to observe the uh, second initial waveforms to find a bad coil. That was more like a demonstration of, the, of this tool. It's, this, it's designed to be used with a virus or modus, but I think it works a lot better on a picoscope. It's just a lot easier for me, uh, anyway, to, to set everything up. But there's a couple of very interesting things about this tool that I didn't know. And uh, I had this tool maybe for two weeks now. I really didn't have a lot of time to play with it. But uh, uh, in my last video, I had my... Uh, so this is designed for eight cylinders and it's split in two in positive and negative firing events for waste park system. And uh, in my video I used uh, you know, six leads that I can get signals from the, from, the, from the six cylinders and I had to use both channels, green channel and yellow channel, to get my, to get my signals. However, I noticed it uh, in, uh, in, in my firing KVs, they were pretty off. And uh, on a couple of centers are pretty low, on, on a couple are pretty high. And uh, a friend of mine, my buddy, they always follow my <laughs> uh, videos, and I really appreciate it. He's from Mexico. Uh, Jurgen School, I believe, is uh, his channel is. I, I, I apologize if I didn't if I didn't uh, pronounce correctly. So in uh, his uh, comment, he says that uh, uh, I'll, I'll get to this later. It says attenuation factor for the snap-on. Second edition probes are one to five thousand, uh, and then uh, they said his uh, uh, the green channel originally is used to display the waste park events only. The first channel, yellow lead, will show the true combustion firing events. The reason he said this uh, attenuation factor is one to one to five thousand. I customized the picoscope and I actually put ten thousand. Uh, and that's way too much. Uh, that's why some of the uh, events were way off. But there's other reason that I just found accidentally by playing with this tool today. And uh, I'll show you guys something very interesting about it. So, other thing also, and uh, my buddy uh, pointed as well, that uh, I was also expecting to see if I'm getting a uh, signals from from positive and negative channels. You know. From green and yellow channel, that one's going to be, you know, they're going to be inverted in the opposite direction, inverted in opposite direction, but they're not, and I don't know why. I mean, I, I'm still kind of confused over that. They're, they're both channels are actually inverted down, and uh, I'll, I'll show you guys. So today I'm just going to kind of uh, try to kind of point a couple of things that I've noticed it, and uh, it's kind of very interesting. So. What I'm going to have, I'm just going to use one cylinder and I'm going to have positive and negative lead hooked up to the same cylinder so we can get the same KV on both channels. And uh, I already got the, uh, my virus uh, hooked up and uh, I just measured the uh, KV output on this cylinder. So then we kind of have a roughly idea, you know, what is the KV so we can actually customize the uh, uh, picoscope. So let's, um, I'll, I'll show you guys my setup and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of do a couple experiments with this thing. So anyway, I just have, as I said, just one cylinder. I got my adapter in it. I have a uh, lead from each uh, uh, channel, positive and negative. So this one is on the uh, negative side. Okay, you see that? And this will be on the positive side. Okay. So actually, let's just do this. Let's just go one that's on the further. So let's just do negative here. So you can see. So this is the negative side. You can see it right there. And I'll put it here. And uh, this will be. This is the positive side. Okay. Now uh, I actually put my green uh, green lead actually on the green channel of my picoscope, and then a blue channel is going to be the yellow channel. It's going to be a little bit easier to to follow up. So I just got my banana leads hooked up to a yellow and a green channel, and then I back probe my uh, my ground, I piggyback my ground from my SIA 2000, so that both channels have a have a ground. And uh, so here's the. Uh, on my virus, so that I, 
I already got my uh, KV and it's around uh, I don't know I would say maybe 17 KV I mean it's a I, we can even say 15 anyway for 15 between 15 and 18 KV something like that that's that's kind of average on this uh, on this uh, on this uh, coil and plug so between 15 and 18 and I just used uh, this actually this probe to uh, to get that this reading so I don't know I repeat all this but this is from this coil and plug so uh, now let's um, get the I'm gonna get the camera to, to my uh, monitor so we'll see what kind of signals we're gonna get okay so the green channel is the green channel and the blue channel is yellow channel okay the channel one is is yellow and channel three is green so all right so let's uh, let's get I'm gonna start it up and uh, let's see the signal and that's to my surprise as well are the both channels positive and negative are actually inverted the same direction they upside down but they are in a, inverted in the same direction so you can guys you can see that on the on the scope and uh, let's just see one more time I'll show you here's my uh, here's my lead on the negative side goes down to the coil and there is the lead on the positive side going down to my to my coil. So uh, the voltage output from both channels are are in the, I mean the signals are in the same direction. Okay. So right now I'm just going to go to I'm going to invert the channels upside down, you know, uh, right side up, I guess. So I'm go to here. And then uh, move here as well. So now we can actually see that we are getting the same voltage output from positive and negative side of this tool, which I thought it's supposed to be different, but um, it's it's really not. Uh, so let's go down. So let's check the voltage here. I'm gonna put it kind of right there. It's like a 3.4 volts, and. Uh, is a 3.2 and it's it's pretty close that's they are they are identical so uh, so pretty much the same the same voltage output on uh, I can actually you can zoom zoom in a little bit to get better uh, idea let's just go and maybe these three and as I mean it's very very slightly different like us you know maybe I don't know, 70 millivolts or something, but that's just, you know, uh, that's that's pretty much the same. I, you know, that's fine. So now we, we know that I, we can use either side for, you know, direct injection system and it's going to give us the same, the same output voltage. All right, so I've got my sample rate I can I can jack it up some more but that's we can see it's the same so now when I uh, customize my probe and now as I just said we know it's around between 5 and 8 uh, 15 and 18 kV output voltage on the on this coil and now I can actually go to my custom probes and I customize it to uh, let me see now I need to find it This one, I believe. Yep. Uh, that's that's. Let's see now. And it's. No, I'm 20 kV. So I think actually, if I go back to, I put actually 6,000, but I think. 
I think 5,000 will work better. I'm just gonna go, I'll just change this to 5,000. And basically what I did, I put minus, minus 6,000. I'm just gonna change it to minus 5,000. As my buddy said, that's attenuation factor on the, on a, uh, uh, this, I think it'll, 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 that will be just fine. So, uh, So this should give us roughly the same, the same KV as I as we had on a, on a Varus. It's uh, it's kind of slow for some reason. Okay, so that's that that that's fine. We got 16 KV. That that's pretty close. So uh, so. Minus 5,000 works just fine. And uh, we can do the same on the green channel now. And uh, so here's the interesting thing. I, I already I put the yellow lead and green lead and I'll show you why. That's kind of funny. Uh, so, okay. So just put everything on yellow lead. So now we can see that, uh, let's see now my green channel the average is pretty much the same. So again, both channels are displaying the same KV, whether we have a positive or negative. And it's kind of nice now, when we're doing this, it doesn't really matter which way we hook up the tool, as long as we hook up our leads to our coils. Now we know the positive and negative is going to give us the same output voltage, and then we're going to have a third channel, then we're going to have our sink, and, um, and we can uh, get our firing order and figure out what cylinder is misfiring. So now we can just zoom in and then we can see our, our that's that's pretty nice. Okay, now here's the funny part. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to my regular voltage output, just just to a uh, uh, regular uh, probe on both, and this is what messed me up on that last video on BMW. That this is the reason why my KV was so off on those on those channels. Now we can see the output voltage is the same, but okay. So I, I I'm sorry, I had to go. I had to invert now. Okay, so here, here comes funny part. And I don't have an explanation for this, but uh, uh, here, here's what happens. Just, and I just found this accidentally. I was messing up with wire, it was with the leads and all that stuff. And uh, now, so let's go to if I. So. If I take this lead off, okay, these leads are not hooked up to anything. As you can see, we can only want hook up two leads to our to our coil. Now, if I unhook this lead, and see, look what happens. <laughs> My voltage goes goes up on the green channel on the positive side. If I do the same on my negative side actually that's interesting oh crap I ah, I disconnected it ah. it's the same thing happens on the negative side as well the the voltage output gets messed up sorry I messed it up so let's uh let's take this lead out off from the uh, negative side Now we can see that voltage goes up as well. So now, uh, 
Why is that? Now, why is that happening? I, I really don't know, but that's what uh, that's what was uh, messed up on that BMW video where you know I had uh, actually I had only three cables hooked up to my to my uh, tool and uh, one was missing. So whichever side had a uh, lead that was missing, it was uh, displaying the higher output voltage versus the another one. That's why my everything kind of gets kind of confused and I quite didn't understand when I was looking at those waveforms, you know, why I had a, such a high KVs and also I had like a 10,000 formula was off as well, like a, my, my output voltage was over like a 30 KV, that was ridiculous, but uh, you know, this part of it, you know, you, you learn as you go and you guys keep me straight, so uh, so anyway, that's it, I believe it's um, uh, this is just what I want to show you guys now and uh, Again, uh, to my surprise, both channels are having the same output voltage. They are inverted in the same direction, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, that we can, uh, if we have to use like on direct system with the eight cylinders, we can surely do that, and uh, it will be a lot easier. So maybe I can uh, in the next video you do uh, the same thing, maybe with one chant with uh, if I peak, if I uh, get. If I connect two, if I connect green and yellow channel together, see what kind of output voltage we're gonna have, and uh, so we're gonna put all this back together. So, all right. So this is it. This is what what happens here and here, and uh, so I don't know. But now we can see I put it back together and everything goes back to normal. But it's good to know that both channels are having the same output voltage and uh, let's just uh, do one more time on the so let's see so minus uh, 5000 on your on your custom probe works works pretty good on on your on your scope and i was uh as I was playing with it, I was going to customize my, you know, leads differently to make different formulas because I thought, you know, it has a different output voltage. And I just happened that I was messing around with it and uh, I disconnect the cable and all of a sudden, you know, my, my voltage has changed and that's when I... got a 40 here and a 40 here, so... Alright, so I average like 16.8 here, on one positive side, and 15.7, you know, so anyway, that's, that's pretty close, so. Maybe. I mean, just average. It's it's pretty close. I mean, you guys see the point. I mean, it's it's just uh, uh, yeah, it's just that's that's good. It's the same. All right, guys. Well, this is it for for now. I uh, will make another video. We're gonna kind of do some more. Uh, the complete setup maybe on a V8 engine get all the cylinders together and then get the get the sink and get everything properly set up so we can actually do some more testing maybe you know rev the engine up maybe unplug the you know I don't know maybe unplug the uh, injector or something like that to see how that affect our signal waveform so anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time thank you bye bye